liberating ourselves from the shackles of South Asianness. The use of South Asian as a blanket term is not only insensitive, but also harmful to the diverse ethnic groups that reside in the region. This open letter is written by and on behalf of members of marginalized communities who do not identify with the term South Asian. We write to you, esteemed members of the Legislative Assembly of British Columbia, including members of Parliament and other influential individuals in the government and education system today with a sense of urgency and gravity. The term South Asian is disparaging as it homogenizes and erases the unique identities, cultures, and experiences of millions of people from the Indian subcontinent, reducing them to a generic label that perpetuates stereotypes and overlooks diversity. The term South Asian is demeaning as it fails to recognize our individuality and richness as Canadians. The term South Asian is also dehumanizing as it objectifies and essentializes people from a particular region, reducing them to mere data points, statistics, or checkboxes on forms, instead of acknowledging their humanity, agency, and complexity as individuals and communities. This letter is interesting to me, and I personally agree with the writer. This is a pinnacle of racial essentialism. Racial essentialism is a belief in the existence of discrete, fixed, and uniform characteristics that constitute and differentiate racial categories. It illustrates social hierarchy, which can perpetuate stereotyping. This simplistic racial categories provides fuels for implicit biases. For instance, there are people from Northwest Europe who are not called Northwestern Europeans, but rather British, Irish, or Belgian. 